Hi guys. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Shaw tells us that it's cold. Madame Shaw nous dit qu'il fait froid. I'm just going to do something with the camera. Je vais juste faire quelque chose avec le webcam. Just a moment. Just a moment. Barely better. À peine mieux. So, please excuse my hair. Merci d'excuser mes cheveux. I've just taken a shower. Je viens de prendre une douche. Uh, because I did some sport. Parce que j'ai fait du sport. In fact, one second. Je vais me brosser les cheveux. Reflexive verb, je vais me brosser les cheveux. So, if you are taking part, si vous allez faire, faire partie de ce cours, um, can you please WhatsApp me? Yeah, even if you WhatsApp me previously, même si, si vous m'avez déjà envoyé un message par WhatsApp, can let me know that you are taking part, okay? If you've never done this before, si vous l'avez jamais déjà fait, that is no problem, ça ne pose aucun problème, but I need you to WhatsApp me on plus four four seven eight nine nine seven three two eight three eight. okay? Even if it's the first time, can I remind you, même si c'est la première fois, can I remind you, je peux vous rappeler, it doesn't matter if your level is low or advanced, peu importe, um, que ce soit un niveau bas ou avancé. Hi, Didi, uh, lovely. So that's the number to WhatsApp on. Okay, lovely, Julie. So Julie, if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing it, can you please uh, message me individually? Okay. Hi, so I've got Amy taking part. I've got Ico taking part. I've got Stuart taking part. Uh, great, lovely. I've got Sam taking part. Uh, anybody else going to be taking part? Uh, I've got Claire taking part. Excellent. Il y a notre cher ami Claire qui nous rejoint, qui nous rejoint de l'étranger. Who joins us from afar? Who joins us from abroad? Uh, uh, Somebody's typing in the group. Don't type in the group. Type individually if you're going to be. We've got Didi. So Didi, have you messaged me? Didi, you need to send me an individual message. Il faut que tu m'envoies un message individuel, Didi. So again, Didi, can you add me on WhatsApp? Yeah. Not in the group, Didi. Not in the group. You need to send it individually. Dylan, if you're going to take part, off you go. Right, so... Uh, Julie, that's fine, but again, message me individually. Christ almighty, I do tell you all in advance, message me individually. Right, let's have a little bit of light. Uh, God, it's, I'm lit from underneath. You should never light yourself from underneath. It makes yourself look terrible. Uh, I don't see why, Ron. Je ne vois aucune raison pourquoi. Yeah, if you just open up a new message and you send me um, a private, it should happen, okay? So let's start So Stuart. Stuart's French to send me back is, um, although they are full of fat, I love a load of fries after having exercised. That's for Stuart. Shinobi, remind me your proper name and remind me what your WhatsApp name is, because I always forget. Is it Lee or something? Okay, uh, so that's Stuart. Mm. Sam has got, um, after doing it, I feel much better. Um, um, I am happy you feel better. That's for Sam. Uh, that's for Sam. Uh, Julie has got, Julie, can you let me know your level? I don't know your level, so I don't know what to give you. Stuart, I, uh, Gabby's not doing, Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw, can you give me, um, um, we are always happy to, uh, to be part of class. It does us good. That's for Mrs. Shaw. Okay, TV. Dee Dee, are you the person that's got the uh, the beautiful pink top on with the long dark hair and who hasn't introduced yourself by name? Is that you, Dee Dee? 
Fucking nobody ever gives me their name. <laughs> personne me donne le prénom. Personne se présente comme il faut. I had a message this morning from somebody and they surprised me because they gave me their name. None of you ever. So, you, lovely. So, uh, is that you, Didi? I think this is you. The pink top, the glamorous photograph. So, this is for you, Didi. I don't know your level. So, can you tell me your level? Uh, right. So, Julie, your level is... Okay, I am happy to learn with Luke. He is going to tell me uh, how to speak French. That's for Julie, all right? Kessa, if you're... Um, Dylan, I've told you already, you, you apply, you do this to WhatsApp. Yep. Tessa John, Tessa's got... It's my first time with Luke, but I... I'm happy to uh, see what is happening. Charlotte, you're welcome to take part as long as you message me privately. Um, right, let's start looking at some of these answers. So if you've not had something from me, keep messaging me privately because it means I've not seen you, okay? Ben is taking part. Right, so uh, Ben. So let's give one for Ben. Um, what happened last week made me laugh Ben okay so uh, Lee Shinobi Lee has got um, the girl I ate with this evening was slightly less uh, drunk than the one I ate with last time that's the one for Lee all right Let's start marking. So, Sam. So, Sam has given me. So, Sam has asked to give me. Um, um, when you give me the French, if you could just quickly say to me in English what it was you were supposed to give me, that could help me. Quand tu me donnes le français, si tu pourrais, si vous pourriez me donner l'anglais, ce que je, enfin, que je vous ai donné, ça va beaucoup m'aider. So Sam was, um, Sam was asked to give after doing it. Okay? So if you look at after doing it, après avoir fait, there is an infinitive in the middle. So what I'd like you to remember, Sam, is the golden rule, which is... Uh, which, what, which golden rule am I referring to? Which is bits before verbs and less before an infinitive. So is it going to be après avoir le fait, Sam? Have a little think, okay? Uh, lovely, okay. Um, right, DD. So DD, send me a sound file. When you send me a sound file, you've got to send me a sound file. Right. Uh, someone's just said bonjour. I don't know who the hell that is. I don't know who the hell that is because they don't introduce themselves. Right, let's go. Um, Claire, I thought I gave you something, Claire. Did I not? Okay, anyway, here's for Claire. Um, um, following a small break, I am overjoyed to be learning with Luke again. That's for Claire to translate. Send me a voice file. From Stuart French. So Stuart French was given. Can I remind you all to tell me the English that you're supposed to give me first because I won't remember it otherwise. Okay, can you tell me the English at the beginning? Good. So Stuart was given, although they are full of fat. And he's given me back, bien qu'il soit plein de graisse. Okay, so Stuart's given me back, bien qu'il soit plein de graisse. Okay? So he's done the correct thing, which is the subjunctive after although. Bien que, although I'm, you know, British, I'm also French. Bien que je sois britannique, je suis aussi français. However, Stuart, the noun we're referring to here are French fries. Okay? Les, les frites. Okay? The fact that you can hear frites tells me that they are not masculine. So could you go again, Stuart, remembering that they're feminine? Okay. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, anybody's not had something? What's up me asking for it? Wendy, Mrs. Shaw. 
Good, so Mrs. Shaw has done the right thing. Madame Shaw, elle a fait la bonne chose. She's told me the English before giving me the French. Elle m'a dit l'anglais avant de me donner le français. That's going to help remind me what she's doing. Ça va me rappeler ce qu'elle fait. So, Mrs. Shaw, we're always happy, on est toujours content, lovely, to be part of in French is to make up part of. So we don't use être partie de, we use the verb to do or to make part of. And the expression to do good is faire du bien à quelqu'un. Faire du bien à quelqu'un. So go again, you're going to need two expressions with faire. Yeah, il va vous falloir, il va te falloir deux expressions avec faire. So we're happy to make up part of the class. Think what's going to happen with the de and the le. Yeah, think how they're going to join. And then the second expression, it does us some good. Both of those expressions are going to use faire. Uh, lovely. French class. Uh... Right, so Amy has not been given anything. Amy, can I have? Um, I apologize. Following my mistake, I should have sent something. That's for Amy. Okay. Um, Dylan? Dylan, can I have all the girls and all the boys are here with me. We are speaking to each other. That's for Dylan. Uh, Iko, can I have... Um, She had woken up late, but she managed to arrive on time. That's for Ica. Right. Let's start marking. So, so Julie, can you remind me, like Mrs. Shaw did? Can you remind me what you were given when you when you give me your translation? Can you tell me in the beginning in English what you're doing? Okay, because I can't find. So Julie's got, I'm happy to learn with Luke. He's going to tell me how to speak French. So je suis heureuse. Now, Julie, you need to learn what's called the trampoline de. Yeah, all of you. So if you find yourself in an infinitive and the first verb before the infinitive isn't there. So I am happy to learn. Whoa, what got me up into this infinitive, Julie? So I need to use the trampoline de. So I'm happy de up into my infinitive. Yeah. So, for example, I'm happy to speak. Je suis content de parler. Okay. You have a smaller trampoline if you use a, if your phrase ends after the verb. So, for example, easy to open, you could say ouverture facile, but often you'll hear facile à ouvrir. So, the phrase will end after the, the verb. But the main trampoline preposition is de. So, I'm happy de into my infinitive. So, go again there, Julie. Good. So Sam has now given me après l'avoir fait. So Sam, that's almost perfect. But just think, if you're putting après avoir, the link is going to go après avoir. If you're now interrupting après an avoir with a le, how am I going to pronounce that? So one more time, Sam. Right. Thank you. So message for Charlotte. Um... I was knackered, shattered, exhausted, whatever word you want, after my class, but a cup of green tea was useful. That is for Charlotte. Can you remind me that, Charlotte, when you give me this message? From Ben. Ben, can you remind me what you did in English first? I've said, can you say for me in English what you were given? Because there's too many people, yeah? I can't remember what the fuck I've given anybody, the way. So Ben, I think from what you've given me is what happened last week made me laugh. 
So you've correctly used what happened using ce qui and the reflexive past of ce passé. Made me. M'avoir. M'avoir. So that was a muscle memory. I think your mouth remembered saying m'avoir. But if you say he made Ben, bum, 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 you're going to have the passé composé. So made me laugh. Made me laugh. Not m'avoir fait. Yeah, so try again. Okay, Alex, you've got... Alex, can you remind me your level? Before I give you something, can you remind me your level? YouTube Alex Australia. This is from the lovely Claire. Sorry, Claire, like everybody else, remind me the English first. I won't keep saying it. I just won't mark it. Remind me the English you were given before you speak, okay? Otherwise, I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Good. So Claire has said, Claire was given after a little break. I'm happy to learn with Luke. Okay. So après une, she said, après une petite cassé, after a little break. Okay. Je suis très contente d'apprendre avec Luke. So two things, Claire. You're not saying a break as in something's broken, which is the correct verb. But you're saying a pause, a rupture. Yeah. So think about it like that. Remember what we talked about, Claire. Try and go around the situation. What is a break? It's a pause. It's a going around. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, Dee Dee, if you use the word please, that would be useful. Uh, so, uh, so Claire, a little break, a little pause, okay? Um, and then also, like I was just saying, Claire, I am happy to do. So, guys, those of you that don't know this rule, I will say it again. I've given it Julie already. Same for Claire. I am happy into an infinitive. You're going to need a do. Yeah, because the previous word wasn't a, a verb, all right? So try again, Claire. But the accent was lovely. L'accent, c'était beau. Lee, the girl I ate with this evening was slightly less drunk than the one I ate with last time. Lee, you always send me multiples. I want one clear message. Good. So Lee has done a good job eventually, although he forgot the with whom the second time and then he remembered it. So the girl I ate with this evening, la fille avec qui j'ai mangé ce soir, was less drunk, était moins soul, yeah, était moins ivre, était moins ivre, était moins pété, était moins défoncé, était moins uh, whatever Fritz language you want for drunk. I'm sorry, I'm not going to have time to type out the correct versions today. I've got too much marking to do. Um, uh, par rapport, yeah. Um, but now, so you give me par rapport. So, guys, par rapport means with regard to, but the phrase needs par rapport à. So, it would need to be par rapport à la fille, yeah. Okay, but I want was slightly less drunk than a basic comparatively. Can you go again? Remembering the with whom both times than less drunk than yep good from Sam I've had après l'avoir fait je me sens mieux after doing it après l'avoir fait je me sens mieux for Sam okay um, this Sam's translation is um, Luke has shown me everything this week he revealed himself to me Sam and I had a very long conversation about grammar Luke has shown me everything this week he has revealed himself to me no actually I'm going to go Luke has shown me everything this week um, he didn't have any problem uh, he didn't have any problem That's for Sam. Remind me that when you give me the translation, Sam. Dylan? Uh, 
Dylan has a brain. Dylan and Servo. He's not forgotten to give me the English. Il n'a pas oublié de me donner l'anglais. All the boys and all the girls, all the girls and all the boys are here with me. We are speaking to each other. So basically, Dylan, you have a nice, clear voice. Vous avez une voix bien claire. Tu as une voix bien claire. So, Dylan, the word for all is going to change if it's masculine or, for, or, or, or masculine or formal, if it's masculine or feminine. Le mot pour all va changer si c'est un mot masculin ou un mot féminin. So, I want you to think when you say all the boys, it's going to sound the masculine way. And when you say all the girls, it's going to sound the feminine way. Written down, there is a plural version, but before the word the, it's going to sound the same either way. Yeah, the plural version and um, will sound the same as the singular version before the word the. So you've just got to think about the masculine um, um, and the feminine. Also, Dylan, we are talking to each other is reflexive. It's actually reciprocal. We are talking to each other. So have a little think, Dylan, how you'd say I get washed, we get washed. Yeah. Je me lave, there's your clue. Think how you'd say it with a we, nous. Then do that with a verb to speak and get back to me, Dylan. But nice, clear voice. Uh, good. Wendy, Mrs. Shaw. Good. So remember, Mrs. Shaw, you're great up till there. On est toujours content de faire good. Faire, remember, everybody wants to say the word par for part. Apart from when you say, <laughs> apart from when you say, no pun intended. When you say, apart from Mrs. Shaw, everybody else is, well, you, know, you know, that would be à part Madame Shaw. Apart from that, the word apart, the word for apart in French is une partie, not un parti, that's a political party. So we use the word parti bloody loads. Faire partie de, to be part of. I am part of a large group of teachers who like Voices, whatever. You know. Je fais partie d'un groupe, d'un grand groupe de, de professeurs qui aiment les voix. Whatever. So the word is party. Okay. Oh, it's my favorite part. C'est ma partie favorite. C'est ma partie préférée. So go again, Mrs. Short, this time using party, not par, but nice accent. Okay. I'll just check the second bit you did. Je vais juste vérifier la deuxième partie que tu as fait. The second bit, la deuxième partie que tu as fait. Sorry, because it's a feminine party. Good. So I hope you, Mrs. Shaw. So the expression to do good is ça fait du bien. Ça fait du bien. And you're going to do it to yourself. That to us does some good. Ça, that to us fait du bien. Have a think about that. Julie, I'm happy to learn with Luke. He's going to tell me how to speak in English. Again, Julie, I've just told you, I've already told you, I've spent 20 seconds of my life, I will never get back. Age is happening to this face quickly. Moi, je vieillis vite. I can't afford time that I can't waste. Get back. I've told you, Julie, if you go, I am going to do a verb, that's fine. Je vais parler. Il aime danser. Mrs. Shaw aime sniffer. Okay? Terrible cocaine. Um, if you, if you, it's why she's so slim. If you say, I am happy, to sniff cocaine with Madame Shaw. I am happy to go to the drug dealers with her. The verb to go, to sniff, to like, to whatever, is going to come after an adjective. And I need a bloody duh. The trampoline duh, Julie. Go again. Is that clear, guys? If you say I am adjective and then go into a verb, you need a freaking duh. All right? Amy? So Amy was given, I apologize following my mistake. I should have said something. Now, almost Wendy, um, Amy, good job. Je, so she's given me, je me suis excusé suite à mon erreur, which is gorgeous. So listen, je me suis excusé, because it's a reflexive verb, s'excuser. Don't just say, oh, j'ai dit désolé. Yeah, je me suis excusé. That's lovely, okay? Suite à, she's correctly used following when we've got following a noun. We're not saying suivant or suivante, which is an adjective, and we're not saying ensuite, which is a phrase. Okay, so following, suite à, as we remember, 
if got following an a possessive sweet at mon ma, mon mame, sweet o oh, sweet o oh, a u x whatever okay but the next part was i should have now those of you that have done should and would and could with me can you please remember when you've got would should could and no have you go straight into the conditional je devrais je pourrais unless it's i could referring to the past je pouvais or if it's just i would it's just the conditional of the bloody verb i would speak je parlerai if you've got would have should have could have you are going to go conditional then past think about that and it's your auxiliary which is going to come first so it's not i should have it's not je devrais avoir it's i would have had to i would have been able to so have a little think about that amy but nice first half okay réfléchis bien mais la première partie c'était chouette mr stewart good so stewart was given although they're full of fat i love a load of fries after having exercises after having exercise i've still got some left in mon rest this video is not sponsored by McDonald's, but they just don't put breaded things in the same oil. Ils ne mettent pas euh, la bouffe pané. Pané means breaded, avec les miettes with crumbs dans le même huile. So that means I can eat it. Ça veut dire, ça veut dire que je peux le manger, because it's just oil. Um, as you know, I'm allergic to bread. Comme vous savez, je suis allergique. So I'm not sponsoring McDonald's, <laughs> sponsored by McDonald's, but I can eat their fries. Um, so then we had from Stuart. So Stuart, everything's great. You've just got the gender wrong. I'm not going to make you do it again, but bien qu'elle soit. When people learn these constructions, bien qu'il or parce qu'il, they get very masculine orientated. Yeah. Don't forget the feminine is possible with a noun. Yeah. Bien qu'elle soit. Chips, fries, whatever you're going to call them, British or American, they are feminine. Yeah. Feminine. Les pommes de terre frites, you know, uh, les patates frites, bien qu'elle soit. Okay. Bien qu'elle soit. Yes, Han, we're supposed to send you a message WhatsApp first um, saying that you're here, okay? And John, John, same thing. Send me a message, okay? And I'll do you one, okay? So the next one for Stuart then. So basically what we're saying is plein, feminine, yeah? Plein de, and bien qu'elle soit. Although they are. If you don't understand, sorry, my apologies, that one. Although, if you don't understand what the subjunctive is, send me an email, budget language learning. Well, listen, it's just on the, it's on the YouTube channel. It's just on my information. So send me an email, envoyez-moi an email, and I will respond with the information about the subjunctive. Okay, so my next one for Stuart is, okay, the girl pissed me off because she wanted sushi Ed, instead of eating McDonald's, whatever. Okay. Um, I mean, this is rubbish. We went for sushi. We go for sushi one week and we go for, for McDonald's the next. It's just a little tradition. C'est une petite tradition after one of my ballet classes, après un de mes cours de, de, de danse classique. Um, and she's lovely. So uh, instead of eating, uh, yeah, so the girl pissed me off because she wanted sushi instead. I want an appropriate phrase, which means pissed off. Okay. I don't want annoyed me. I want pissed off. If you can't manage pissed off, give me annoyed. Otherwise, try for it, look for that, okay? Who is YouTube fucking question? Is it one of those idiots with weird, like, I, I can't, like, what, 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 I need a name. I haven't got people's names. Introduce yourselves. Introduce yourselves, okay? Um, introduce yourselves. I've, I've got a lovely, 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 lovely black photograph, and I can't see who the hell it is. Say a name, because I delete everybody every week. No offense. Ben. Lovely, Ben, but it's what happened last bloody week, not this bloody, no, not next week. Ce qui s'est passé la semaine dernière. Notice your muscle memory. Notice your, why have I gone slightly jaundiced? One second. Pourquoi est-ce que je suis assez jauni? Excusez-moi. Um, so notice that your muscle memory is gone la semaine, la semaine prochaine. Yes, ce qui s'est passé la semaine dernière m'a fait rire, made me laugh, okay? Ben, it made me happy. Uh, um, 
it's no it makes me laugh that luke makes me happy makes me laugh that luke makes me happy because he's fucking insane so i shouldn't be made happy by him so that's for ben focus ben focus all right there's some tricks in there concentre toi bien tu vois c'est tout petit peu difficile euh, en général, au tabio, normalement, ce sont des dimanches. Ça, dit, ça dépend. Alors, soit tu peux me contacter directement. Envoie-moi un WhatsApp, send me WhatsApp, et je te contacterai. I'll contact you. Um, or send me one now, Otavio. You can join. Um, upper beginner, mate. Begin. I've been learning French. Right, lovely. So this is Alex, okay? I would like to go and see them, but they didn't contact that's for Alex. I would like to go and see them, but they didn't contact us. That is for Alex. Uh, Aiko? Aiko, I'm so sorry, darling, but can I remind you, my love? Can you remind me what the English was I gave you? I can't, I can't remember what the English was I gave you, okay? So can you, can you just remind me what the English was that I gave you? And I, I promise... I... So... Yes, so that sounds pretty correct, Ica, but can you just give me what the English was? If you send it me quickly, I'll, I'll mark yours in order. I'll, I'll, I'll jump ahead. I'll come straight back to you. Can you just send me what the English was as well? Because I can't remember what I gave you. Tessa, don't send it to the bloody group. Ne l'envoie pas au groupe. Okay, send me an individual message. Envoie-moi un message individuel. Let me explain, guys. If you're not doing class, si tu ne fais pas le cours, you're going to get beep, 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 and you're just going to you're going to sign out of the group, and then I won't be able to contact you when I need you. Okay? I want people to remain signed up. Je veux que les gens restent inscrits. So don't use the group. The group is just for me to contact you. If you want to contact me, contact me personally, especially for the class. Si vous avez envie de me contacter, si vous avez envie de me contacter, utilisez euh, les messages euh, enfin, personnels. Okay? Um, Claire. Lovely. So Claire's given me after a small break. I'm overjoyed to be learning with Luke again. Après une petite pause, je suis je suis contente. Je suis ravi. Would have been a great word. Je suis bouleversé. Je suis plein de joie, plein de joie. Jen recording. Je suis uh, ecstatique. You know whatever to be learning d'apprendre. Yeah, we don't have a to be learning. And Claire has very smartly realised I am learning doesn't exist in French. We just say j'apprends. So. Um, to be learning is to learn. D'apprendre avec Luke, again, is encore, rather than déjà Claire. Lovely, so next one for Claire. Luke has always liked my accent. I produce French sounds very well. That is for Claire. Right? Um... Tessa, no, you send me on WhatsApp, but you just send it me personally. I don't want to read it, Tessa. I don't want to read it. Send me a voice message, my darling. Send me a voice message. Send me a voice message of you personally saying it. Okay, Lee? Lovely. Welton, Lee's got it. The girl I ate with this evening was less drunk. La fille avec qui j'étais de gym. So what this basically means what is, when you've got a bit of grammar, notice you're often going to inter interrupt your grammar. So it's like, I'm happy that Wendy is here. Je suis content que Wendy soit ici or soit là. I might interrupt that. I might say, I'm happy 
I know she was supposed to come, but she didn't come last week or something, that Wendy's here. And if I come back to that sentence, I need to remember the grammar. So I am happier than him or something, you know, je suis plus content que lui. So the girl with whom I ate last week was happier, was more drunk, less drunk than, still the same grammar, lovely. Okay, so who was it that did that for me? Let me remind myself, it's Lee. So can we now have, um, okay. She was able to drink the whole bottle. God knows how she did it. That's for Lee. Um, Tessa? Now, Tessa, you've sent me a voice file. Okay, let me show you what you're doing, Tessa. Let's me montrer ce que tu dois faire. On WhatsApp, okay, you are going to hold your, um, you're going to, I'm just checking there's not ketchup on my, on my fingers. You're going to hold your finger on the microphone button. Hi, Tessa, this is Luke. Salut, Tessa, c'est Luke. And then you're going to release the button and it's going to send me the message. Could you do that? Donc, tu vas appuyer sur le bouton, tu vas parler, tu vas lâcher le bouton et après, ça va m'envoyer le message. OK? Euh, Oh, Dee Dee's losing her shit. Well, I'm sorry, Dee Dee. I didn't get a please in the text. So I will always wait for a please. Right, so can we have Dee Dee, Dee is, um, is looking forward to starting with us. She wants to do it. I want you to try if she wants to do it using a phrase with... No, no, she wants to do it. That's fine. Yeah, that'll do. That's for Didi. Okay? If you can manage to say she wants to do it, Didi, without using vouloir, I would be interested. That was lovely. Dylan, that was lovely. Nous nous parlons. Also, guys, notice when you're doing the reflexive or any verb for nous, you can change it for an on. On can mean public one or it can mean we. Excuse me, parler avec la bouche pense. Pardon me for speaking my mouth. So um, you could say on se parle. No, on se parle. Now, Dylan, I'd like you to say we spoke to each other. We are going to speak we will speak to each other all of those Dylan are going to use new all of them are going to be reflexive so basically you've got the past you've got the future formed with uh, with, with the um alle uh, plus infinitive and you've got the future formed with the will method so can you give me those three that's for Dylan But at least Tessa knows how to send a voice message. Han, did you send me a message saying this is Han? So from Charlotte. I was knackered after my class, but a cup of green tea was useful. And I acknowledge that knackered is not particularly an American word. So this is why I gave you knackered and exhausted and shattered and tired out and bushed or whatever you want to say. Good. So, j'étais épuisé. J'étais épuisé. J'étais crevé. These are the words I want you to be using, Charlotte. Épuisé is formally exhausted. Crevé is... Um, is um, why is the light so weird? Um, oh, well, I'm orange. Um, um, no, 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 Han, I don't want what so-and-so is called. You're all called YouTube. Everybody I work with is called YouTube. Just send me a message saying, this is Han. Have you done that? Okay. 
So yes, yeah, so Charlotte, I'd like epuisé and whatever, okay? So Charlotte, at your level now, I'd like you to start looking for synonyms. À ton niveau, j'aimerais que tu commences à chercher les synonymes. So I don't basically want, um, I don't want um, you to use the standard French if you can use something a little bit more relaxed. So Charlotte, for you, I'd like you to say, he um, pisses me off because I, because he mocked me. That's for Charlotte. Right, I'm working my way through systematically in order. Sam. Sam has given me, Luke showed me everything this week, Luke m'a tout montré cette semaine, which is correct. Then he gave me, il n'a aucun de problème. Problem is masculine. Think how I use aucun, aucun, do I need a de after it? Think which tense I'm going to be. Go again, Sam. Mrs. Shaw, if I said he sees us, he likes us, where would your new go? Where would your new go? Would it go at the end? So the expression, ça fait du bien, insert the new. You got it, Amy. J'aurais dû. So new one for Amy. I... If I had known that Luke were sick, I'd have known that Luke was sick, I could have sent him it. That's for Amy. Sorry, I spelt your name wrong. The Malachi Compreno. Next green. Right, this is John. Lovely John. I don't know your level, John, so I'm just going to come straight up. Um, Luke liked my photograph, and he is happy that I know how to do it. That's for John. Luke liked my photograph, and he's happy that I know how to do it. He is happy is an emotion, John. That is all I'm going to say. Now, let me try and find hand because I've not had this message. Or Tessa's message back. Oh, I've got one from Tessa. Tessa has a good clear voice. Listen. Lovely. Now, Tessa, you're another one. Très contente. Devoir. So remember, I'm happy to speak. I'm happy to dance. I'm happy to whatever. You need a de. But a lovely, clear voice tester. I'm not going to make you say it again. Je suis très contente de voir ce qui se passe. Nice. Okay. Tessa, I am not happy with what he, with what she did. I didn't agree with her. This is for Tessa. Nice, clear voice from Tessa. I like it. Elle a une belle voix, bien claire, je l'aime bien. Mm. So Aiko has given me she had woken up late, but she managed to arrive on time. Good, Aiko. So just remember, se réveiller is reflexive. So if I've got a verb which uses avoir, to go into the had, I'm going to change a into ave. So I ate, j'ai mangé, I have eaten, j'ai mangé, I had eaten, j'avais mangé. I went, a verb which uses être, Aiko, je suis allé, j'étais allé, or j'étais allé, j'étais parti, for example. A verb which uses both the reflexive and 
the verb to be in the past, we'll need the reflexive and the verb to be. So, j'étais réveillé isn't correct. That was I was awake. So, I, I had woken up is je m'étais réveillé. Ico, I need you to get that in. I need you to get the reflexive in the past as well. So I was able to, so j'ai réussi à, that's going to be j'ai réussi à, because it's just like, although you say I was able to, if you'd say je pouvais, you're talking about that fact, the ability to do it in one go. So I had been able to do j'avais réussi à, or j'ai réussi à, if you looked back at it in one go, both are fine, à le faire, um, to arrive on time, arriver, à, à, arriver, enfin, j'ai réussi à arriver à l'heure, that was good. Um, so can you give me, Icon, the same theme? I had gotten washed. You know, I had washed myself, in other words. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, yeah, same thing. Um, but I hadn't gotten dressed. Yeah, so Ico, I want, I had washed myself, but I hadn't gotten dressed. That's Ico. Let's try and find this handshake, because I can't see it. Um, this is Han, right, okay. Right, so Han I've got, okay. After having tried to do it, I know Otavio, but there's loads of you. Je sais Otavio, mais vous êtes nombreux. So I'm really sorry, I'm, I'm working through people in order. Uh, je respecte l'ordre, because otherwise it's not fair, parce que sinon ce n'est pas juste. After having tried to do it for uh, 10 minutes, um, it was sorted. Okay. Incidentally, guys, I've got a really good um, link for you guys later, which is um, some dialogues that I've been doing with my individual students this week. A uh, student, uh, student, Wendy will talk and, and Sam will tell you about them. Um, so I will give you the link for those later because I think they'd help you. Claire? So Luke has always liked my accent. Think about it, you said Luke M. Mon accent, which is Luke likes my accent, Claire, which is correct, but Luke has always liked. Luke has liked, Luke has eaten. Because it's a mental concept, it's throwing you, Claire. But just think, Luke has said, Luke has always said. Luke has liked, Luke has always liked. Lovely, and produit correct, uh, les sons correct, français to be masculine. Yeah? Good. So, Claire, that was great. I would just like, Luke has always liked. Quick as you can. So, can you add this, Claire, so it's not to make time. Luke has always liked my voice. He has never told me the truth. Let's say something like that. He's never told me the truth. Okay? So, we're looking at these passé composés, Claire, these one, two, three, but we're inserting things in the middle, aren't we? Yeah, we're inserting things in the middle. That's for Claire. Ben. So Ben's been given, it makes me laugh that, it makes me laugh that Luke makes me happy. God, I can't even say it in English. I can't even say it in English. No, 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 no. Ben has given me some fait rire ce que Luke. No, 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 no. Ce que, whilst I'm happy you know that it exists, je suis content que tu saches que ça existe, ce que is to be used when we have what, when what ain't a question. I like what Wendy and Sam are wearing or something like that. Okay, j'aime ce que Wendy et Sam portent. So if it's just, it makes me happy that... I hate to disappoint you, but it's just a plain old bloody that, okay? No, so basically, you've established the two, you've established two truths here, Ben. And for those of you watching, this is what I'm after. To make somebody do a verb is fair, 
So Luke makes me laugh. Luke me fait rire. Luke m'a fait rire. To make somebody an emotion is rendre. So Luke made me happy. Luke m'a rendu content. Luke me rend content. What I want from you, Ben, is it's, it makes me happy that Luke, no, it makes me laugh that Luke, which is kind of referring to an emotion, that's referring to an emotion, that Luke makes me happy. So in other words, your second bloody sentence is going to be in the subjunctive. Rendre is a soft, hard verb, Benjamin. What do we do with a soft, hard verb? Okay, Benjamin, qu'est-ce qu'on fait avec un verbe d'où? Dur. What do we do? If it's I'm going out, je sors. Luke's happy that I'm going out. Luke est content que je sorte. Soft, hard verbs, they become hard with the subjunctive. So if you've got rang, what the fuck is that going to become if it goes hard? There was absolutely every reason and need to swear there in French, up in English. Every need, every necessity. So, uh, c'était nécessaire de jurer là en France, en anglais. Toujours, je vous jure. Uh, Lee French. So she was able to drink the whole bottle. God knows how she did it. Good. Dieu sait comment elle a fait. Toute la bouteille. Toute la bouteille. Yeah. Feminine alls. These guys, these, these, these of you tonight, I can't speak English. Those of you tonight who've got all, toute la bouteille. Une bouteille. Une bouteille. La bouteille. Toute la bouteille. Okay. Um, I drank half of it. Um, there isn't a lot left, but she has some left. This is for, uh, who was just doing that? Is that Lee? Yes, this is for Lee. I drank half of it. There isn't a lot left, but she has some left. Next screen. Dylan. Fucking joy. Putain de merde, quelle joie. Quand quelqu'un a la mémoire nécessaire de me rappeler ce que je leur ai donné en français à faire. When someone's got the memory to remind me what I gave them to do. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. So um, Dylan was given this little arrangement of three different people to do in the reflexive. Well, in the reciprocal. Everything was gorgeous there, apart from one thing. Mrs. Shaw will be singing along with me bits before verbs, all these poems, all these poems, one of my other poems. When you have the past, Dylan, quand vous avez le passé, and you've got a reflexive or reciprocal verb, in, in other words, something that's mutter, nouveau, yada, yada. So, you don't use avoir, even if your verb normally uses avoir. En, enfin, le verbe avoir s'utilise pas, même si normalement c'est le verbe avoir qui s'utilise. You are going to, although it is a verb which normally conjugates with avoir, bien que ça soit un verbe qui se conjugue normalement avec avoir, we're going to use être. On va utiliser être. For example, I washed Sam. Yeah, j'ai lavé. Je l'ai lavé. I washed him. I washed the car. J'ai lavé la voiture. I washed myself. Je me suis lavé. So this, Dylan, is what Uncle Luke refers to as the Poetry past. Je me suis tuté, il sait, nous nous sommes, vous vous êtes, il se sent, plus your bloody password, okay? So if that doesn't meet, ring a bell with you, for you, contact me, all right? Send me an email saying poetry past, okay? Otherwise, can you go again? So everything else is correct. Can you just do the same for me again with the, you know, whatever? It might be you understood that from the beginning. Ça se peut, it might be. Ça se peut, I think we talked about that, Stuart and I, last week. Je pense qu'on en a parlé la semaine dernière. So, um, ça se peut que, so that's maybe, plus subjunctive. Pop, maybe you understood. Ça se peut que tu aies compris. You're stopping me eating my fries, God damn it. Who is this? Right. Octavio. Um, I've just sent him a message so that he can see me. That is for Otavio, okay? Yep. That's for Otavio to send me. So send me a voice message like this.
Alex, I don't do the downloads. I keep telling everybody, don't send me a voice, don't record a voice file on your phone and then send it me as an attachment. WhatsApp is a far, far simpler beast than that. I keep telling you, I'm not being mean. I make people do it because otherwise it's a pain in the ass. See the bottom of WhatsApp? We've got a microphone. Press on the microphone, speak, release microphone, it will send. Don't send me a voice message. I don't mean to be cruel. Well, I do, but send it me properly and I will mark it. Lovely, Wendy. Ça nous fait du bien. Ça nous fait du bien. Ça, con ça nous convient, ça nous arrange. That suits us. Lovely, lovely. Next for Wendy, okay? My husband wasn't able to attend the wedding because um, I have um, my husband wasn't able to attend the wedding because I attached him to a chair. That is for Wendy, who has a lovely husband. Sam? Good. Or you know you can problem Sam or you know it can problem. So he was given. Luke showed me everything this week. Luke m'a tout montré. Pronunciation guide. We're not saying tu, we're saying tu. Yeah, because it's all. Buckalo knows why I look like an umpa lumper. I've no idea why the screen is orange. Um, um so um okay. People want to use okam because often you use it instead of pada, and they want to use it with de. So I haven't got a clue. Je n'ai pas d'idée. Je n'ai pas d'argent. I haven't got a sister. Je n'ai pas de sœur. When you use okam or okun, they always want to go okam de, okun de, but it's je n'ai aucun argent. Je n'ai aucune idée. Je n'ai aucun problème. Aucun does not need de, all right? Um... Good, Alex. Let's see what Alex has sent me. So, a new one for Sam. I am happy that we spoke to each other this, um, in this way. This way. That is for Sam. I'm happy that, Sam. There's your clue. Mm, down to Stuart. Oh, bollocks. Stuart, I apologize. I didn't see that green message. I've got so many. Je m'excuse. J'ai pas vu le message vert. Please accept my apologies. Merci d'accepter mes excuses. And that was perfect. Apart from one thing. So, Stuart, I'll give you what he said. So I said, gave him, the girl pissed me off because she wanted sushi instead of eating McDonald's. So the girl made me shit, which, sorry to be disgusting, is the French expression for piss me off. You might think that's revolting. I like humour. I don't like toilet humour. Um, but we say piss off in English, pissed off. We don't think about the act of urinating, do we? Um, so, la fille m'a fait chier. Because she wanted, correctly handled by Stuart, we've given me a mental verse of elle voulait. Um, sushi, however, is a noun. So it's going to be elle voulait le sushi or elle voulait du sushi. She wanted some sushi or she wanted the sushi we talked about, okay? So you can't forget that. Same as McDonald's. Au lieu d'avoir mangé, instead of eating McDonald's, au lieu de. So what Stuart has also correctly done, which I've given someone else to do, instead, as a word on its own, is plutôt. We were going to eat sushi, we ate McDonald's instead. On allait manger le, Mac, um, le sushi, mais on a mangé le McDo, au oh, McDo, at McDonald's, plutôt. So instead on its own is plutôt, not plus space to, which is earlier, but plutôt. Instead of au lieu de plus verb. Well done, Stuart. So apart from the absence of any articles before a noun on both of those examples, sushi and McDonald's, that was otherwise perfect. I'm sorry I didn't see that. Stuart, you're still there. I apologize. Can you say for me, um, uh, Luke has difficulty 
seeing the messages because there are so many. That's for Stuart. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, bum, 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 bum. And I'm going to try and prioritize Stuart because I can't. God, there's so many people on this group. Now. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Julie? Julie, I'm not going to make you do it again because it's the same one again and again. But je suis heureuse de. Well done, good girl, good girl. But what comes after a de? Qu'est-ce que c'est qui suit de? Possibly an adverb, possibly, possibly um, a, a verb. But what comes after the de? A join. J'ai besoin d'apprendre. J'ai envie d'aller. J'ai hâte uh, d'arriver. The de is going to join with the verb, Julie. So your one. Using envie is going to be, I want to arrive before him. I need to listen to uh, the class. I um, am happy to go to Paris. That's for Julie. Big fat fuck off clue, Julie. It's going to be duh, straight into the word every time. YouTube Amy. Nice photograph, Amy. C'est une belle photo. I do so like a photograph which doesn't say Instagram slag on it. I have to be honest. I do really like a photograph that isn't selfie this. If, if somebody contacts me about lessons and they have a selfie style photograph, I, I just generally ignore it. I know that sounds terrible. I just think mm -mm, this ain't going to happen. Like we do not, we do not need this type of photograph in, in, our, in our community. So Amy's been given, if I had known that Luke was sick, or that Luke were sick, if it were hypothetical, um, I, I could have sent to him. I could have. So for those of you learning here, the, the, the bit that we're focusing on is would and could and should, and whether or not there's a have after it. That's what changes the grammar. If you don't feel comfortable with would, could, should, would have, could have, should have, like the Beverly Night song, would have, could have, should have, um, could you please email me and I'll send you the videos on would, could, should. Lovely. So, si j'avais su que Luke était malade, j'aurais pu le lui envoyer. What has she done? So, I could have. I would have been able to. Then she got her pronouns in. Yeah, in the right order because they go before the infinitive. There were two pronouns. Send it him. She knew that the longer L1 is going to come second. Le, lui. Good girl, Amy. Bearing in mind three weeks ago, we couldn't even get the verb, the pronoun before the infinitive or whenever it was she started. Good work okay that's impressed me so i am impressed that amy did it correctly well done amy that's for you to translate the next green i promise to god can you see all these these greens i just literally take the next green i promise enfin, je vous jure. okay i do it in an honest way je le fais d'une manière honnête Charlotte? Question two. Oh, why can't everybody speak as loudly and as clearly as Charlotte? Oh, God, please, please follow her example. It's so nice and easy to hear. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est facile de la comprendre, de l'écouter? Putain, super. Okay. This is the art. It's not to be. J'ai pas de Right, so you've used two bits of, I gave you, he pisses me off, or did I give you pisses off or pissed off? Okay, so whether I gave you pisses off or pissed off, the point is, the verb to piss off is to make somebody shit, Charlotte. Yeah, he made me shit now, Charlotte. At your level, this is somewhere you should be going. If I'm about to say a phrase that means nothing to you, then you and I need to talk. So basically, ABC verbs, my darling, ABC verbs. That means a reflexive verb that then has another verb. No, so the reflexive element, the verb element, and then the preposition. That is where we go in French. So he mocked me. 
is, a, is an ABC verb. So you don't say he mocked me, il m'a moqué. You say he mocked himself, in this case preposition de moi. So for example, I remember, that's an ABC verb. Je me souviens de toi. You don't say je te souviens or anything like that. So it's an ABC verb. So I'd like you to do me that again, Charlotte, please. Do me that again. That's a bit colloquial. I'd like you to do that again for me, please, Charlotte. So ABC verbs. Now, if you if that's new to you, Charlotte, if you just think, whoa, not used to verbs that work like that, send me a little email saying as much. Not a WhatsApp. I don't use, I use e WhatsApps for class and for grammar questions out loud. I use email for people that request videos. Can we make that clear? All right. So could you please send me an email if you don't understand ABC videos, verbs and what that means? If you do and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I know what we're referring to, then can you just send me that back corrected? No one's clicked like. La gratitude des enfants, the lack of gratitude of children, you say. La gratitude des enfants. Good. Now, after trying to do it for 10 min minutes, um, uh, it sorted itself out. Après avoir essayé de. Now, let's be very clear on one thing here, Han. In your mouth, you are more familiar saying de la, because as you know, guys, de and le normally becomes du. But if it's using le to mean something rather than the, you can completely say de le. So, for example, I've just seen him. Je viens de le voir. That's correct. I'm coming from the cinema with Tessa. Je viens du cinema avec Tessa. That's, that's, that's correct there. So in other words, your mouth likes to go de la, but it's not de la. So I want to hear a nice proper de la. Okay, yeah, yeah. So make sure you're saying that. Okay, it's just, a, now, be happy that your mouth made that mistake, Han, because that shows me you're getting a muscle memory, which is what all of you guys should be fucking aiming for. You should just keep speak, 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 speaking, and... Get your mouth used to saying the grammar. We don't want you to have to think of the grammar. All right. So it's a good mistake, Han, but do it me again. Okay. And the other thing, Han, the verb to. It was. So, right. So, listen. It sorted itself. You've given me it was sorted, which is correct. But notice the difference between it was sorted and it sorted itself. I would like, it sorted itself out, and the verb I'd like you to use is s'arranger, s'arranger, which is reflexive. So can you give me that again, this time, and with s'arranger in the correct tense, okay? Next up, we've got the lovely Claire. Après, on a la belle Claire. So Luke, as always, like my voice is always telling me the truth. Good, so basically, Claire, so right tense, well done. Luke a aimé ma voix, yeah, ma voix, it's feminine voix, but Luke has always. So what I want from you, Claire, is this comfort inserting things into your one, two, three, pardon the expression. So basically, if you've got Luke has liked, Luke a aimé, Luke, Luke has told, Luke a dit, Luke m'a dit, I'm inserting a pronoun there. Or I could say Luke has never told me, Luke m'a Jamais dit. So I need to get to a stage, Claire, when I'm actually quite comfortable. Il faut arriver à une étape où je suis comfortable. Inserting either pronouns before, adverbs after, around the first verb, around the auxiliary verb, autour du verbe auxiliaire, at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. Only five of you ungrateful bastards like this. So you're trying to go into an English word order, Claire. You're trying to say, he has never told me. What's he told? Il a dit. What's he told me? Il m'a dit. What's he never told me? Il m'a jamais dit. So Claire, you and I are going to speak. Send me a WhatsApp, not today. Send it me tomorrow, so when you're awake. And I will send you a voice message referring you specifically to the video game, which is basically how to get the muscle memory of inserting all the different tenses and then popping in a pronoun and then popping in an adverb. Wendy knows the game. I've got a video recording of her online doing it. it there's a video online of Ian doing it. It's really useful. You just need... Um, 
Claire, to get used to inserting stuff. So if I gave you sentences or tenses, you're grand. It's inserting stuff into those tenses, okay? Um, what has Sam Luke sent six? Okay. What does six mean? Yes, sir. Gorgeous. Listen to this, it's 100% correct. Well done, Tessa. So, what she's correctly used is what, so she doesn't agree with what, and she's skillfully then gone what she. So, listen to this, this is correct. Nice accent. Good. Now, I'd say one thing for you, Tessa. You have a very clear voice. I'd now like you to work on speed, and I'd like you to pick for me. J'aimerais bien que tu choisisses the word which, for you, le mot qui pour toi represents the most importance. Le, le mot qui pour toi représente le, enfin, le plus d'importance. So, for example, um, mais je lui ai jamais dit que j'allais venir. La chose la plus importante, so, yeah, that's what's going to make it sound French. You have a nice accent, okay? Now, the other thing that you're doing well, Tessa, it might be that you've just got beginner's luck, is that you you linking it nicely. Link it even more. Link it even more and you will find the grammar easy to remember. Good, Tessa. I'm liking this. So, um, I'd like from Tessa, Luke is happy that we did this, that we did it. Luke is happy that we did it. Here's your clue, Tessa. Luke is happy. That is an emotion. Just saying. Good, Tessa. Please note, Luke prefers clear, loud voices and notice the favorable treatment that they get. Regarde le traitement favorable qu'ils reçoivent. They, the people, elles reçoivent the voices from Benjamin. Lovely. So you're the same, Ben. Once you've got the grammar out of the way, your voice links very nicely because I've told you to and you follow instructions and that's quite hot. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I like people that obey, but what I'm saying is, um, uh, again, practice saying it quickly. Keep your, you're doing it. Luke, I don't need the mouth to be moving. Keep it chilled. Why much content que Luke soit? Keep your mouth close together. Don't f. Don't try too hard. All right. That way, your mouth will get used to coming through the sequencing. Blow more air from behind. All right. Blow more air from behind the words. All right. Next one for Ben. All right. Um, it's crazy that we found the answer last week. By the way, Ben Benjamin means the youngest child in French. I don't know if you know that. My brother's called Benjamin because he's the youngest son, the youngest twin. Very good, is that Dylan? Yes, Dylan. Dylan, can you now do exactly the same three exercises? So we spoke to each other, we are going to speak to each other, we will speak to each other, this time using en. This time using en. Remember, we don't use avoir for the reflexive past. Good. The winner of the Clear Voice competition this week is jointly shared between Benjamin, Charlotte, and Tessa. Good, now, so a couple of things from Alex. You, I can hear there's an intelligence there. I can understand that you've got a basic knowledge of grammar. Two things, I would like to go, I don't need and. So, je voudrais, so I would like to go and see, to go and see, to go and dance, to go and sleep. No and in French. I'm going to go and sleep. Je vais aller dormir. Mrs. Shaw and I are going to go and eat. Madame Shaw et moi, nous allons aller manger. We don't, or we went to, we went to go and eat. On est, allé, uh, on est allé manger. We don't need and, Alex, okay? Uh, next, at your speed now, and this is not me patronizing, je ne traite pas avec condescendance, I don't want the no. I don't want the nut. The nut is going to stress the wrong point in the sentence. Okay, so uh, especially when you've got an auxiliary, especially when you've got an auxiliary verb which is coming into contact with a pronoun. That's not me belittling you. I myself would say, 
ils ne nous ont pas contactés. Ils ne nous ont pas contactés. It's obviously French. I can obviously say it. But just at speed for the moment, I'd like you to say, ont... so do me, do me um, these sentences, uh, Alex, and I don't want to hear the no. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to finish it. I am never going to eat it. Didn't get washed. One. Say those for me, Alex. Your focus, you, you are one, and I say this to certain people every week, you are one that would benefit from the voice class that I do. All right? I'm not pitching my wares. Uh, you know, by all means, remain an autodidact, all of you, but you are someone who would benefit from even a half an hour class of me sorting out your voice because it's going to help your learning long term. Anything you can do that makes your French sort of more attached, smoother, it's going to facilitate your, 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 your memory of, of loads of vocabulary. So think about that, okay? Maybe you've been a good boy for Father Christmas. Peut-être tu as été sage pour Père Noël. Perhaps you could ask somebody to treat you to half an hour. Peut-être tu pourrais demander quelqu'un de te faire plaisir. Okay. Uh, ben is the youngest of three brothers, okay? Um, interesting. Well, there you go. That, isn't that a little bit weird? Yeah, the, that, that's a little bit... Um, uh, as Ma Mrs. Shaw and I know... We have psychic gifts. Uh, so, Lee? Lovely, lovely work from Lee. Good, guys, good. So, I drank half of it. J'en ai bu la moitié. So, I drank, j'ai bu, not bu. That's the bloody mud. J'ai bu, I drank half of it. J'en ai bu la moitié. Uh, there isn't a lot left. So the phrase to be left is il reste, il nous reste, il me reste. Not, if you are not comfortable with the il me reste, il me manque, il me faut, contact me, send me an email saying il me reste. Just send me an email saying il me reste and I will send you the appropriate uh, video. Uh, lovely, uh, lovely, 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 lovely. Great. No more questions now, guys, because I'm just going to mark this and finish up. So don't send me anything else, okay? Good, so you were thinking out loud there, Sam. So you went, je suis content qu'on se soit parlé en de. So you changed your pro pronoun, preposition. So yes, de cette manière. Guys, when you say the expression anywhere, you say de toute façon, de toute façon, de toute manière. So you don't do anything in French in a way. You do it of a way or from a way, yeah? So moi je le fais, mais de quelle manière? In what way? De quelle manière? Okay. Oh, he makes me think of my brother. Il me fait penser à mon frère. Oh, mais de quelle manière? No, in what way? It's de. Okay. C'est de, de, cette, de cette façon. Lovely, but well remembered, Sam, that it's une façon. Well done. Good. And content. Go back to vowels. Go back to vowels, fellow. It's going a little bit consonanty. So Luke has difficulty seeing the messages because there are so many of them from Stuart. Il y en a, yeah, parce qu'il y en a beaucoup. Il y en a tellement, il y en a, ils sont nombreux. Yeah. Bye Claire, bye bye, loads of love. Uh, from Charlotte. Woo, a veritable sea of messages from Charlotte. No more new messages, guys. Hello. Uh, it was, he marks me, or he marked me. The il se moi. I've had this, but I've had this 24 years ago. I don't need your excuses, Charlotte. You're going to need to be fluent. Excuses. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Intelligent girl, don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need excuses. But, 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 but what, what, who needs your personal narrative? Who cares? Clear voice, excellent education, good brain. Let's just move forward. So sorry, dude. I think it was he marked me in the past tense. Uh, 
Good. So you know how your muscle memory there, Charlotte, just wants to go, il se. You need to be comfortable with il se, il se. So you're another one that would benefit from the game that I did with Wendy and Ian and Mike. So you are people that need to just physically get accustomed to saying certain expressions in all the tenses. You are people that have your favorites. Yeah, maybe because you've not done it in a while, but all, all kinds of reasons. So you can, can you please also email me, Charlotte, saying the game, and I will respond to you with the, the videos, which is the, which is the game you need to do. You need to make your mouth as equally comfortable in all the tenses. So that you, for you, il se moque, il se moque, il se moquera, il s'était moque. The different directions it's going in are all as comfortable to you. It's not about knowing it. I'm sure you could learn that in a heartbeat. It's about getting your mouth comfortable with it. Do please email me that, Charlotte, but I predict good things for you. I don't care about what you've done and haven't done. Let's just move forward. You're going to be brilliant. I can hear it. Um, good. Ça s'est arrangé ou ça s'est arrangé? Ça s'est arrangé. Good. Right. So that's really good. Um, um, lovely. Uh, you need to, as well, hand, you need to try and link stuff. Exactly the same as, as, um, as Charlotte. You need to get into the usages of linking it. Same as Ben, just link, 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 link. Yeah, you're a little bit that bit, that bit, that bit, that bit, okay? Don't go anywhere, guys. As soon as I've finished, I've got one more to do, and I've got an excellent a present for you. I didn't give Amy... I'm impressed that Amy does it correctly. So, Amy, you've remembered, because I gave you a bit of a big fat, fat fuck off hint, you've given me the fact that I'm impressed as an emotion. So, je suis impressionné que Amy le fasse correctement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave you. I'm impressed that Amy has done it correctly. So, I'll never now know whether or not you knew this or I'm reminding you. Who cares? The point is that you move forward. Same as Charlotte. So, if you say she did, elle a fait. The first verb after que, if you're using the subjunctive, will now be the auxiliary. So, I'm happy she did. Je suis content qu'elle ait fait. Yeah? Sticking in the um, subjunctive, qu'elle ait fait. If I stick the le in, je suis content qu'elle l'ait fait. Right? So, I, she went. Elle est partie. I'm, I'm impressed she went. Je suis impressionné qu'elle soit partie. In other words, um, Amy, the, the past... The past tense of, of subjunctive, right? The past tense of the subjunctive, which is a joyous tense because all you need to do is pop your auxiliary in the, um, in the subjunctive. Good. No more. Well done, everybody who's taken part. Well done. Well done. Well done. Let me just quickly get you my link for you, which is my gift, um, which is where? Let me have a little look. Um, what have I done with it? What is it here? One second. Dialogues. I can't now find the bloody dialogues. One second. <laughs> this is it. So, um, it is not often that I'm impressed with external sources. I like Miss Lawless, who used to run aboutfrench.com and now Lawless French. Although she does go on about grammar in a really long, long way rather than getting people to just to bloody do it. But um, this is a nice little collection of dialogues. Now, the English translation isn't fantastic. La traduction anglaise n'est pas fantastique. But if you can just, for most of it, it's okay. Pour la plupart, c'est bon. C'est juste, there are certain expressions that I'm like, what the fuck have you written? Il y a certaines expressions, je suis putain, mais qu'est-ce que tu qu que as écrit? So this is a list of dialogues. C'est une liste de dialogues. Very authentically, very French. Authentiquement, c'est très authentique. C'est très français. I've been doing them this week with some of my better people. Je les ai fait cette semaine avec euh, mes, mes, mes clients, mes, mes clients, avec mes, mes élèves plus capables. They're very nice. There's also underneath the dialogue, there is a sound file. Yeah? We've got au-dessus de, on top of, on dessous de, on dessous. Il y a un fichier uh, so you can listen to it pour que tu puisses pour que vous puissiez l'écouter. Listen to her. She's trying to speak really quickly and smoothly in all of this business. Her voice is a little bit boring, but the fact is, it's a nice reference. Okay, so there you go. 
have a look at those. Very, very, very rich in authentic phraseology that we would use. If there's anything on any of that that you don't understand that Google can't give you or word reference can't give you, by all means, send me a little WhatsApp because it's always interesting for me to know what you guys, that guys have difficulty following. Si vous aviez du mal à suivre tout ce qu'elle a mis, euh, envoyez-moi bien sûr un petit WhatsApp parce que c'est toujours très utile pour moi de savoir enfin, les parties avec lesquelles vous avez du mal. Okay? So, contact me as you, you know. So, to remind you, if I've asked you this week to contact me about the video for the game, send me the word game. If I've asked you to contact me about um, doing a voice lesson, that's generally in my honest and fair opinion, that's something that would benefit you and there's no obligation there under. Um, if you are being contacted by il me reste, il me faut, whatever, whatever, send me that. If I've mentioned to you, if you don't understand the subjunctive, send me an email requesting that. If I've said to you, do you understand, il me reste, il m'en reste, il me faut, whatever, send me that. So those of you who've been given individual things, I've said, do you understand this? Yeah, it might just be you're like, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm just being a doofus, I forgot it, fine. But if you're like, no, Luke is absolutely right, I don't know enough about that, then please contact me, all right? Send me the email, not a WhatsApp. I don't give a shit about WhatsApp or outside of the, um, the class. Please don't use WhatsApp the interactive group because it's not fair on those who aren't in the class because it's just ping, 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 ping. Some people like the lovely Claire, you know, they're in Australia, they're different time zones. I love you all, but please, can you just contact me separately? In an email, if you have a request for a video, on a WhatsApp, if you have a question. Okay, that's the difference, all right? Video, email, WhatsApp question. I can send a WhatsApp voice message. I can reply with a video. I'm not going to do it the other way around, and I never will. I don't mean to be a bastard, but, you know, it's just too difficult. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots of progress from some of you this week compared to the first thing. Some exciting new people. Tessa, Charlotte, I'm really glad you're here. I will speak to you all soon, okay? Um, uh, Otavio, I told you. I told you, Otavio. It, I have a cutoff point. I'm not being horrible. I have a cutoff point because otherwise it just goes over. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I, I have to draw a line under it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so just get it back to me faster next time. All right, um, or be here first. Be here at the beginning. All right, I'll speak to you, uh, you guys soon. All right, loads of love. Take care.